folks and welcome to the woods in the Scottish Highlands. This is a lovely little patch of Caledonian pine forest um, in an area I've been to a number of times for a number of my videos now and I'm mostly here today because I've come to fetch my wildlife camera which is in the woods a couple of kilometers away and um, very hopeful of uh, having some footage of pine martins on there because uh, it's not very far from the place where I got really good pine martin footage uh, just over a year ago which was in fact the first uh, vlog I made on this channel it's coming up to a year ago now kind of crazy and yeah I thought since it's a nice afternoon it's actually just rained and uh, the sun's just come out after the rain stopped and uh, everything smells really crisp and lovely and it's really really nice being here. There are a few midges, um, nothing like as bad as they were uh, a few months ago actually, although I'm definitely not going to stay sitting here still for very long. Um, so yeah my plan today as the weather is nice is to have a little wander around the woods and uh, just see what I can find to photograph really. So what I'd really like to find are some chanterelles. Chanterelles are really really beautiful fungi and they're also really tasty so I'd like to find some chanterelles, take some photos of them and then eat them. So the plan would be to collect some after taking some pictures of the most photogenic specimens and then walk to another patch of woodland that's fairly close to here on my way um, to pick up the camera, the wildlife camera, and try and make a fire and I'll try and cook up the chanterelles. And yeah, that seemed like a fun thing to do for a Sunday afternoon so I thought I would uh, bring you along. So uh, let's go see if we can find some chanterelles. This is exactly what I was looking for and these are absolutely beautiful, beautiful chanterelles. They're going to be really, really tasty. Now these ones that are kind of all in amongst the moss here aren't going to be much good for taking pictures of but these ones that are up kind of underneath this sort of lip in this bank in the heather, they might be quite cool to take pictures of. So. I'll get my macro lens on, I'll get set up and uh, I'll see what I can get. Right, so uh, I tried to take pictures of um, chanterelle was a, that was a little bit out from these sort of undercuts here and the picture wasn't very good but getting the macro lens right in underneath here I think works really nicely and uh, I think I've got a couple of nice pictures so uh, I'm using 100, 105 millimeter macro lens I've got it at f14 I've also taken some shots at f10 so I don't know which of those is going to be better I'm on the tripod and I'm using a five second uh, timer on the shutter release to remove any kind of vibration and then I'm just setting the shutter speed to whatever I need to get base ISO um, on the scene in there and uh, at the moment that is 1.6 seconds so quite long exposures and I'm taking several of them because there are lots of midges around and if a midgey flies through during that uh, 1.6 seconds I'm pretty sure that it'll blow the picture so I'm taking lots of different ones and with a bit of luck some of these will work and if it works it'll be on the screen now.
pick those now, <laughs> now that I've taken their picture. A bit naughty, I suppose. But uh, I'll pick those and I've picked a few more. And so I'll go back to the car, get my rucksack and walk up into the woods and see if I can find somewhere to make a nice fire, make some coffee and uh, cook these up with a bit of onion and bacon and butter, which I've got with me just in case. next bit of woods, um, the one where I've got the camera trap and where uh, I'm hoping to make a fire a bit later, but uh, the rain's come on again now, so I don't know whether there will be any possibility of a fire, but we'll see. Um, so after seeing those chanterelles, I did actually find some other uh, fungi to photograph, and uh, I think I probably got nicer photos of them, actually. Um, but I didn't vlog that because there were lots of people around just there, so uh, I didn't really fancy sitting there chatting to camera while taking my pictures with uh, all the people there. So uh, yeah, the settings will be on the on the screen with the photos, and um, I was basically using focus stacking to try and get a bigger depth of field. So I'll show those now, and uh, I'm going to continue wandering into the woods and uh, go and get this uh, wildlife camera. Hopefully the rain will stop and uh, can have a fire, but I uh, have to see about that. The rain's certainly getting pretty heavy now, so uh, I should probably put away the uh, Osma pocket before it gets too wet. So, uh, yeah. into a kind of clearing between two bits of the, the woods I'm walking through on this track and uh, just below me on the slope was the uh, the roe deer female and and her fawn and uh, oh it was oh, it was so lovely so lovely to watch them it wasn't a, a perfect encounter because she saw me and uh, she ran away, so I wasn't able to sort of back away without being seen, but I think her seeing me was inevitable. If I'd walked another two or three metres on this path, I would have been totally exposed. And so I don't feel too worried that, uh, that she saw me because I think she was always going to. I'm really just pleased that I saw her first and the fawn and was able to spend a couple of minutes watching them and uh, taking that little bit of video and uh, catching a couple of photos. The angle won't be fantastic because I was sort of above them and they had their backs to me, but it was the experience of seeing them. It was, oh, it was so nice. I've not seen roe deer here for at least a couple of years, so really, really good to see them. Oh, excellent. <laughs>
So this isn't really where I wanted to stop and make a fire, but I realized that I planned far too much into the afternoon and that actually going all the distance to where I planned to make the fire and having time to collect the wildlife camera and have time for stop offs like seeing that roe deer and uh, her fawn. It, it was just never going to happen and I really have to get better at that, at uh, realising that because I find, I think I find myself getting very frustrated on these trips because I plan all sorts of things when I'm sitting in Glasgow in a, in a lab or in an office sort of daydreaming about coming out to do these things. I have all these grand plans and then I try and do probably too much. But I got here and I found this little bit of uh, ground that's quite a big sort of gravelly bank so I'm not worried about making a fire on this because it's not peaty ground. In Scotland you have to be very very careful where you make fires because if you make a fire on peaty ground the chances are that it can actually continue burning a lot longer after you've left and yeah that's a situation you really don't want to be involved with. So I uh, gathered some small bits of heather and I found one sort of dry bit of pine to make my fire and apart from that everything here is just wet and well yeah as you can see the rain's back now so I'm really glad I got the fire going when I did. Um, I cheated a bit in that uh, I didn't find that piece of birch bark here. I brought it with me in my little pouch of uh, fire making stuff. And uh, also whenever the fire has been struggling, I've been using the fire pipe to kind of get it going a bit. It's quite good because you can just blow through it and uh, sort of aerate the fire really nicely. Look at that. Try and move my coffee a little bit. It really needs another stone there, isn't it? What you do is move that stone. There we go. So I'm sorry I didn't vlog making the fire and gathering the materials and sort of talk you through what I was doing. But I realised that time was getting short and I really thought I should just get on with it, especially as the rain was coming in. And uh, yeah, I've cooked my bacon and uh, onions and chanterelles and now I'm just going to make a brew of coffee. And. Uh, once I've got the coffee, I will enjoy these. Um, damn it! <laughs> it's raining harder. Oh no! <sighs> so much for having a lovely evening, sitting, having coffee and uh, a nice snack by the fire. It's uh, absolutely hoofing it down now. <laughs> ah, never mind. It's still awesome doing this. It's great fun. As long as it doesn't put my fire out because, uh, you know, I quite like a cup of coffee. I've got to drive back down to Troon tonight, so I don't really want to be all tired for that. It has been great being out in the woods. It smelled fantastic today because it's been raining. And uh, yeah, so I can't really complain about the rain, can I? Because it's made such a nice atmosphere of the day. <sighs> and yeah, it was absolutely wonderful to see the the roe deer and her fawn and uh, well, I do hope some of the pictures of her came out I think they might we'll have to look and uh, yeah the wildlife camera I've just collected um, I hope that's got some interesting footage on it I'm not able to tell just now which is uh, quite frustrating because the battery's completely run out so uh, I'll have to wait until I get home to uh, to look at that but yes, I hope you've enjoyed uh, 
joining me in the woods today. Um, it's a bit different to some of my videos, I know, and uh, some of the, the next ones will be kind of more sort of targeted wildlife photography, if you like. Certainly in uh, October, we're going to come back um, to Glen Etive, which is just on the other side of the mountains that are behind the behind these trees and uh, hope to get some photos and videos of the red deer in all their finery bellowing during the rut. So yeah, if you have enjoyed it, please uh, like and share and leave a comment and uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so already and you enjoy the channel. And uh, thank you very much to the over 700 of you that have now subscribed. Absolutely unbelievable to me that uh, in just a few months the channel's really kind of taken off and uh, it's really exciting it's a little bit daunting as well because you know i've got to think of some more ideas and things to come and do but well i'm up for it so uh yeah we'll see you on the next one thanks very much goodbye